we're gonna hopefully if there's anything going on in particular yeah. we'll find out we're sorry about missing out on pat but it's part is this thing working yeah is, is it on <laughs> um charlotte's very excited you could say that our next guests are actually rising to the top of the madison music mm -hmm. scene the mad polecats were one of the winners of the overtures rising stars competition last year and earned a spot on the main stage this season and they will make their debut on september 18th but we are lucky enough to get a performance today here's the gang here's Jesse Kaftansky. Hi. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Jesse. Welcome. Oh, very happy to be here. All right, so um, you've got a very, you all have a really unique style. Talk about that. Uh, we call our style Rastabilly, Rastafari and Rockabilly. Uh, it's the name of our first album. And uh, it's kind of an amalgamation of all the music that we grew up with, uh, a melting pot of a lot of different sounds. Yeah, so you were, so, so the motivation, uh, as just in reading uh, about you all, Bob Marley, Johnny Cash, The Clash, <laughs> Weird so Al. Weird Al. Okay, well, how do all four of those come together? Uh, I think that would probably be the best party of any <laughs> lifetime if you could. Uh, That's true. How long have you all been together? All day. <laughs> <laughs> Every day. Yeah, the Mad Polecats have uh, been playing together for about 10 years. Uh, started as a family band and uh, branched out into some uh, high school friends, and we've kept it going since then, and very happy to be here this morning. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so what is, I mean, we know that, you know, your, uh, your musical inspirations, but how do you get that creativity from, from those people, from those musicians? Uh, just a lot of times in your life, certain songs sort of reach out at you and they mean something. Uh, we're, we're really storytellers. Uh, there's so many great singers and songwriters. Uh, we do write some of our own material, but we have a lot of fun telling other people's stories. So we're gonna, mm -hmm. you're going to have an opportunity to perform at the Overture Center. You're one of the rising stars. You're also going to be, uh, Corey Matthew Hart also won that competition. He's going to be on the show next week. You guys are going to be Friday, September 18th, 8 o'clock. Tickets are $12. You can get them at OvertureCenter.org. Before we turn it over to you to let you play, what does something like this mean to this band? Uh, that is a definite high point for this band, uh, being able to perform at the Overture Center for the Performing Arts, uh, especially on the Capitol Theater stage. Mm -hmm. uh, growing up in Wisconsin, we've always had so much great music come through, especially here in Madison. Yeah. Uh, everyone from Stevie Ray Vaughan to Warren Zevon, I've seen some great world-class performers on that stage, and we are truly honored. Congratulations to all of you. Yeah, thanks everybody Thank for you. waking up. I think you up. can reach this microphone just yeah. fine. <laughs> we'll let you go. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, this here's a song from a good friend of ours, Mr. Spid Peeper. Uh, it's about good times on a Friday night at the end of a work week. Uh, it's a tribute to Maynard and his Playboy band. There's a tavern by the bridge where the old Rock River flows. And on Friday night, that's where the people go to have a good time, see a country show. Cause when you're living for the weekend, you can't wait for Friday night. Cause that job of yours has really got you down. Hop in your pickup at Bedford Town. And you can bet your bottom dollar you'll see everyone you know. Just have them such one heck of a time. You take your best girl. No. 
for sure.